Welcome back to Let's Play Mars Warlogs. I'm Burning Dogface. And last time, we sided with the Resistance. Even though it cost poor Innocence his life, because we were unable to save him. Hasn't been that long since uh, someone was telling us sacrifice is a choice you make. Wasn't expecting it to come up in another game. This looks blocked for the moment. Come on, man, you're a technomancer. Just shake the wall or something. I have to admit, when I heard the place was called Green Hope, I was kind of hoping for grass. think about it. Let me just, uh, check on something back here. Can't remember if I got it after loading. Hmm. Perhaps I did add that. What the hell are we even doing here? We're trying to meet up with the resistance over there. <coughs> So we have to go through the village to get there. Very subtle. Well, some things never change. <sighs> you remind me of when Innocence used to do that. Oh, I guess this one's just painted on. Farming village. I think this is where the uh, coin killer was supposed to strike if you showed mercy the first time. That's a uh, choice I'm pretty satisfied with. No guilt there. Bloody vermin. Fucking slackers. They should never be left wandering around the village anyway. Gotta leash train them. Stealing our stocks. Maybe we should have mentioned we wanted tamed mutants, not a bunch of wild beasts or damn robbers. We should just make an example of them. Kill them. That's all they deserve. All right, you, Mr. Impartiality. Hi. Sorry. Hi. It's not exactly <laughs> a good day for us. What's going on? Those bloody mutants stole some of our food. Not like we produce much anyway. It's going to make things really hard. They deserve to get put down, damn animals. As if they didn't have enough with what we give them. I can go see them, work this thing out. That would be great. We need to get back what they stole and punish them. We can't let them get away with it. But, uh, if you could avoid killing them, just teach them a lesson. I got a bit carried away earlier. But we need the labor. Roy, I find this man a little too extreme. Maybe we should try to know more before we do anything. I agree. I'll do my best. I'm assuming that it was a human responsible for the quest, and they're all just assuming. 
I mean, yeah, that's a double assumption on my part, but hey. Let's face it. In this setting, that's pretty fucking reasonable. Okay, um... Are those scars, or... No, he's got crazy tattoos on his face. I wonder if there's a merchant in town. There is! <coughs> God damn it. Sorry. You know, coming down with a... I don't, I don't know if I'm coming down or something or not. I feel fine, but... Got a frog in my throat today. Take another lozenge. Mm. Let's see what this one's wrapper says. Be unstoppable. I like that. It's nothing you can't handle. Technomancer HQ. Judy, is there something you'd like to tell me? Let's do our impression of NPCs. We'll stand over here in the corner and uh, have a conversation. I'm glad we see things the same way when it comes to our enemies. What do you mean? We don't need to kill the ones we fight and beat. I think that's a real strength. I see things the same way. Why kill them? If only everyone thought like us. I wanted to know. By the way, in case anyone else didn't get it, uh, I'm pretty sure the uh, I want to be alone options that seem to be there for every party member just mean leave the party. I don't know why you would tell them that, uh, you know, since it's not like you can just pick up a phone and beam in Mary or Tenacity instead. What does the Resistance really stand for? At first we were just about fighting a government that had betrayed its own by assassinating the militia. But later, other ideas started popping up. There was especially the fact that the people should be able to choose their dowser and representatives, so crimes like that would never happen again. They say that on Earth, that's what it was like in lots of countries. Seems almost crazy, but it's a beautiful idea. With regularly elected representatives, the people would be sure to gain more freedom. And imagine how things would change. No more bosses on one side, proletariat on the other. They would only be responsible citizens. Oh, Roy, together we can unseat the tyranny of the Dowser's dictatorship and create a new society. It won't be easy, but is there anything more worth fighting for? Sure. <laughs> you shouldn't get me started. You'll never shut me up now. Let's talk about something else. Love, for starters. Where do you come from, Judy? I was born in Val Ombre. Ever been there? It's a pretty small city. Life's good there. I came to Shadow Lair to join up. I stayed here a bit, long enough to learn how to use a weapon, and then I went to the front. Since I got back, I've gotten to know the place better. You like this place? To be perfectly honest, I went into shock when I first got here. The social disparities are way different from back home. But in the end, I understood that Shadow Lair is a fantastic melting pot. You said you were in the war. Yeah. I wanted to enlist. I didn't just want to stay in Valombra with everyone else fighting. So I figured I'd become a soldier too, to defend Aurora. What corps were you in? I was in the Rangers, and I got lucky. Lots of us got taken prisoner real early, but I trained hard, and I was pretty good at it. So I only got back to Shadow Lair after the fighting was over, pretty much about the time of the Battle of Green Hope. I would have been sent out again, I figure, if Abundance hadn't asked for the ceasefire. And you? I fought on a few different Shadow Lines as a grunt, nothing special. The war and all its shit-covered glory. 
But with skills like yours, you could have been a lot more, couldn't you? And I guess you wanted to keep a low profile. I get that. How did you become part of the Resistance? I didn't get here by chance, anyway. It was a choice. My choice. When I got back from the war, I saw what was going on here, and I didn't wait a second. I got together with my former war buddies, who were as angry as me, and we made ourselves a little cell. Then Marco got in touch with us, so we could join forces. You know the rest. I see. It can't have been easy. Did you ever go to Green Hope? No. During the war, I wasn't in the sector. And before, well, that was abundance. Heard what happened here, of course, but I guess you know as much as me. I wanted to ask you. Alright, so if she's actually from Aurora, why is she called Judy? Let's see if I can spend some of this uh, hard-earned serum on new armor. Hey, a new face. On your way to rebuild the farm? Need equipment? Show me what you have to sell. With pleasure. Ah, oh, right. Uh, 15. I, just, yeah, I forgot that I crazy buff for this one. Okay, 15, 10, 15, 0, but increasing my maximum health by 25. Yeah, okay, that sounds great. Hmm. But will I just find one lying around? Tell you what, let's keep going for a bit. Especially keep my eyes peeled for boxes. Like this one! Oh hey, more dollar dues is nice. Ooh. Oh, right. I could actually talk to that guy about, uh, rumors. Start with that. Hey, you're back. Seeing you're a pretty nice guy for you, it's cheaper. Want to see my merchandise? Any interesting rumors? Bah. A really important group of Technomancers showed up here not too long ago. But maybe you already knew that. They're doing something around a work site. Nobody knows too much about what they're doing out there, but we hear noises. They're digging. People are wondering what they're looking for. Martian Ark of the Covenant. Show me what you have to sell. With pleasure. Also, I forgot to do this. Hey, look at that. I had a shitty copper tube at some point. Look at all this junk. Now then, Mr. Tolerance. You're not a farmer. Oh shit. No. That a problem? Not at all. Takes all kinds. Maybe you'd be ready to help me. What's wrong? But since I've been here, things have been getting worse and worse. I'm supposed to replant all the crops, but everything's been destroyed by the moles. It's impossible to grow anything. 
so we're short of everything. But we should already have our first harvest since we got here. But nobody's doing a thing. They're too scared. It's pretty basic, but I'll help you. Thank you. That's real good of you. Got to say, there aren't really any guards here to help us. Where's the field? I'll mark it on your map if you like. There. More for you to tell me. As far as I'm concerned, things are at a standstill. Might not be the best subject. You've been here a long time? Well, not really. I got here when our troops left. After the war, we were sent out here to rebuild, to make the farm productive. I gotta go. See ya. Hello? Equity. Yes? You want something? What can you tell me about the mutants here? But they still complain, but we're used to it. It's true, we should maybe give them a little bit more food. They do good work when they want. I say a mutant is like a cow. If you want it to work well and give you milk, you've got to feed it. But there's guys here who don't particularly like the mutants. It's kind of a weird analogy, but... You know that the crops were destroyed? Of course I heard about it. The moles, apparently... That's a weird story. Moles just don't go into human structures. They got to smell the water, see? And here, all the water from the crops is recovered in small canals just below the surface. They shouldn't be able to smell it. So go. it's communists. I don't know. Um... Start with killing some moles. That was weird. Totally space out for a second there. Great. Oh my god. Move! No, no, don't go into a corner. That would be real bad. No! What in the... God damn. Using the stupid muffler of destiny again. So, getting this thing to murder everybody is working pretty well so far. Alright, princess, it's just you and me. What? Oh, I dinged. Yes!
critical hit with that attack. Did that work? No. No! Uh, hey guys, little help! Okay, so that's a start. Judy still being alive. So I'm guessing that's one of the mother moles they mentioned in the uh, in the write-up. village. This is where the farmers, store, the farmers, store owners, and craftsmen of Green Hope live. It's fairly quiet, and the inhabitants are not particularly aggressive. Uh... Well, wherever it was. Maybe it's in here. In locations. I remember it mentioning that uh, you know, there's a larger, rarer kind of mole called a mother mole, and I thought that was strange because we'd already encountered a mole queen. But, uh, I don't think this one was as big as the mole queen, plus I was able to damage it with regular attacks. That was kind of fucked up. Whoa. I wasn't doing that, by the way. He was just spinning on the spot. Shit, we can't stay here. They'll see us. Calm down. Try to look relaxed. Joe will be back soon. He'll tell us how many guys there are inside, and then we can go. These men are part of the group. We have to hurry. Marco's waiting for us. I'm sure we'll have to take part in the operation. Do you know any of the details? No. Marco got here before us. He must have thought up the plan based on what he saw here. Or, you know, pulled it out of his ass. Just a thought. Okay. <clears throat> I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Mars Warlogs. When we get back to... Tolerance, I think it was. And question him about the giant fucking moles that were uh, attacking this field. Later!